fierce love. Love that is energized with aggression, but is grounded with compassion. Hey, hey world, wake up, wake up. That is the way in which many people right now are approaching the mayhem, the madness, the bullshit that is going on right now and has been going on forever. People are approaching it like, hey, we all need to start vibing higher. We all need to give love. Whilst I am very much aligned with vibing high and I appreciate the necessity right now more than ever for compassion, at the same time, we also need fierce love. And I'm not saying destructive love. I'm not saying violent love, although there is a place for that. I'm saying fierce love 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 that is energized with aggression but is grounded with compassion right now that is what we need because i am noticing and seeing that so many people and maybe you're one of them so many of you are sitting on your philosopher's stones saying i saw this happening i knew it would happen of course it's obvious yeah we're being put down there's a tyranny going on we need to all hold hands and make daisy chains. And I know where you're coming from. I understand that you don't want to fight fire with fire, but if you don't do something, and if you just sit there passively, philosophizing about this or that, nothing will get done. And we are in the 11th hour almost. We literally have five minutes left. We're in the midst of our, a mass extinction, a mass extinction that is human created. Since the 70s, did you know that more than 70% of wildlife is being destroyed, is extinct, done, dusted, gone? Since the 70s, did you know that? Did you know that every year in the name of the meat industry and dairy industry, every single year, 80 billion animals are slaughtered? 80 billion animals are slaughtered per year whilst we stand by and say i'm gonna i'm gonna buy ethically i'm gonna be conscious i'm gonna i'm gonna eat grass-fed meat no you're not gonna eat grass-fed meat when you're out in a restaurant don't fucking bullshit what i say is that the world isn't gonna wake up with a whisper the world right now needs shaking up it needs shaking up. When somebody is in a deep sleep, how do you wake them up? You can't just whisper to them. You've got to shake them. And right now, all of us, the world, the human world is in a deep, deep, deep sleep. And in order to wake up, it is necessary to take greater action, to stand taller and more powerfully, and to stop being so worried about unruffling feathers to stop sitting on the fence saying oh no you're too aggressive oh no there's too much energy oh no can't you just be calmer no in this moment i'm going to show you the full spectrum of the emotions because i am alive i am living i am not a machine and a robot that is being told that you must only have this emotion in that scenario and this emotion in this scenario there's a there's a time and a place for it isn't there there isn't a time and a place for anything we're in the moment now and what comes through now is truth. And if you are suppressing it, if you are afraid and running away from it because you don't want to upset somebody and ruffle any feathers, then you too are in a deep sleep and you too need shaking up. So I hope that this message lands with you. And I hope that if you know somebody that needs shaking up, that you can share this message with them so that they can realize that it is time for them to do something. And I'm being asked a lot now, but Drew, what can I do? Well, here's what I say to you. There are a few things you can do. 
Firstly, I would say, take care of yourself, which means take care of your health, which means eat better. It means get sunlight, it means get grounded and connected on the earth and to life itself. Do those things and then figure out what your natural gifts are and share them. Share them. Please share your gifts. That's what you can do right now. Figure out what it is that you do and you're the best at it in your circle or your family and friends. Whatever it is that you do and you're better than anybody else that you know, share it. Please share your gifts. That is what you can do right now to help shake up and wake up this world.